Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam I'm with Sister Salma. Thank you for coming. And insyaallah other sisters will join soon. So we were talking about Aid. There is one more important point that should be mentioned here. Aid should match in number and gender mm -hmm. with the pronoun. Mm -hmm. Right? Inside the yeah. is a mouse. Mm -hmm. Where should we put that? Okay, this is Aid occur when there is a mismatch. So to decide whether it is match or mismatch, when you have mismatch case, uh, the it is expected. Right? Okay, so we should put it here, yeah. Hmm. Uh, it should match in number and gender. Inside the small soul. Now we have here, we use who. Yeah, a little bit difficult because this is who. Oh no. Okay. We use who because the aid should match in number and gender. Oh, because Alladi is also and then match okay and then When you have match case, the it is not expected. For example, Alladina Alama Hum. Oh, Alladina Alama. Those who he. Out. So, uh, it expected. Mm. 
Okay, cool. Whom a Ladina is three masculine, third person, whom is third masculine, but it is second person. So both mm -hmm. are mismatch. Mm -hmm. uh, whom cannot be the uh, it. Yeah. Okay. Then what else? Okay. You think we know something? Um when expected uh, it occur it create what is it uh, it about the uh, it restriction yeah right no your yeah, restriction And then Or that was so, yeah. Okay. So we have um, the chart. There are two ways. Uh, of you know looking to the isomorphism we can see isomorphism from two different point of view we can see it from Alladi Oma here mm -hmm. And we can see it from match or mismatch. So this is two different ang oh. ang you know, ang angle mm. of the isomorphism. This is has nothing to do with each other. Mm. Yeah. Different component. How to say that? No. So one said we're looking so Aid and another is there is a no this concept, right? Aid concept. Yeah. So yeah. And, and we are talking uh, specifically about uh, match or mismatch. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is kind of additional information. Mm -hmm. When you use uh, Alavi and the siblings, it creates mm -hmm. specificity. Mm -hmm. When you use Ma or Man, it creates mm -hmm. ambiguity. Yeah. We did the example yesterday. We mm. Alavi. Nasara Ahmada versus Manilavi Nasara Ahmada. So this means whoever 
Hal Ahmad. But here it means the one who Hal Ahmad. Yeah. So when we say the one who, we know specifically who is this person mm. that we are talking about. But mm. when we say whoever, uh, it could be anyone. We mm. don't know. Mm. Or even if that's not too specific, like the one who helped, the one who mm. maybe all oh, uh, maybe that person is elderly, you mm. know, in some point it's specific, mm. but whoever, yeah, yeah, specific. yeah. kids mm. anyone. or anyone, anyone, mm. yeah. Now, it happen only when we have mismatch case. Mm. When it is mentioned, it create restriction. Hmm. When it is not mentioned, it create openness. So how do we understand hmm. this? Uh, let's see the example. Alladhi kultu hu. Okay. To who means what? Um, like the one I said, or uh, the thing, something like that, yeah. Hmm. The thing I said, how to say in English, but. Ma kultu, oh sorry, Allah dia kultu, no ait, but same meaning, right? Yeah, the hmm. same translation. Hmm. But uh, how to understand this? I I I understand, but I cannot explain. Let's see, we have something here. It is advanced now. Okay, Quran time. Advanced now. Uh, it's the Mosul, what's the letter Mosul? Let's see, first one. Whoever will love us, so beautiful. <laughs> no, I I think this one. Okay, let's see. I in fact I sent email to Ustad about this, but oh. the answer is not really clear. Ah, uh, Ustaz gave example man yashau. Mm -hmm. Ah, this one. Let's read. Alladhi kultu, kultu hu, sorry, this should be who here. Hmm. Okay, when I said alladhi kultu hu, that means the thing that I said. So hmm. in this case, the listener understood what about it, like hmm. they know what hmm. I am talking about. Hmm. For example, maybe I was talking about religion. Mm -hmm. But since uh, the A8 doesn't show up, oh, okay. So this is no A8. Mm -hmm. 
We expect the answer. Right? We expect okay. the answer. But it mm -hmm. doesn't show up. This means at the same time I am talking about religion, at the same time, the listener also know that I was talking more than about mm -hmm. religion. Like mm -hmm. I am talking about another thing as well. Mm -hmm. Or I was talking more deeper about it. Mm -hmm. So there is more I want to add in what I have said. Mm -hmm. Like the conversation goes on without the in more topics or you know more things that being talking being talked yeah but when you have who allazi qultu who so okay that's only talking about religion that's all nothing more yeah more specific, yeah. Mm. Mm. Nothing more. Allah dia kul tuh ah ah that time. So you you remember mm. the thing that I said? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It, it, no, no, no. I mean for the example. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. You remember what I have said when I use Allah dia kul tuh ah yeah. That's about uh the football. Okay, mm. but if I use Alladi Kultu, ah, yeah, yeah, what about that? <laughs> but because mm -hmm. you don't know which yeah. one, lots of things, yes, yes, that's okay. mm -hmm. good. This is ambiguity. Mm -hmm. We did the example, Manasara or Alladi Nasara. This is the same thing, okay, but. Um, also, the ayat doesn't show up. Moreover, mm -hmm. it's using ma. So, here the fact that ayat doesn't show up and the using of the word what burdens or create ambiguity. Uh, even we, if we use Aladi, it still create ambiguity. Ah, sorry, openness, yeah. Mm. Because the listener is not sure what I was talking about. Was it about religion or something else? Even if they know what I was talking about, they don't know what exactly I said. Did I talk about certain religion? Did I say the truth or not? Etc. This is called ambiguity uh, because of ma. Okay. No, I should open again for the email. I hope that's clear now about our show and Ibrahim. And if someone listen to this recording and they find and if you find something that wrong from my explanation, please do let me know. Uh, so we can learn together. And thank you in advance. Yeah, I think that's all about the eye. Do we have another example? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, do you have anything you want to add here, Sister, Sal uh, Sister Salma? Mm, no, but uh, you know the one time uh, Ustad said, "Allahu ma fi samawati wal ard." Sometimes, uh, if there is a no ma, no, sorry, there is a no huwa. Khalaq Allahu ma huwa fi fi samawati wal ard. We just understood there is an invisible huwa, like. Mm -hmm. I, I just I just remember that door. I don't have any note. Ah, okay, so, okay. Yeah, we should add. We that. just understood, right? Yeah. So that's not a it. The who are not okay, a it. Different. 
Yeah, but yeah, you are correct. We should add it. Oh, we have it here. So, Ma Pisamawati Wal Arabi. This is option in the Quran. Mm. Yeah? Okay. So we expect mm. who are here. That's yeah. this is right. Mm. So here Hua is not Quran have both, right? Uh Hua also and without Hua, both without Hua. Uh, really? I, I forget maybe yeah uh interesting. Hua ma hua pisama. Oh we have okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, okay. Okay. The hua is not a it. Why hua is understood? Because why? Can you can you explain? Because it is specific art and uh, sama this way, or or Allah did mention to Allah. What goes back to Allah, right? Jalala. Uh, no, without without talking about Allah at all. Like we, if if we have just this, hmm. So we still expect the hua. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Because P is hafjar, hmm. as samawati wal ardi is majrur. So this is jar wa majrur. Is this hmm. fragment or sentence? Fragment. Hmm. Fragment. And the rule is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So you it, you cannot have only fragment. It should be a mm -hmm. sentence. Yeah. Mm. And why it is hua? Why not whom or huma or anything else? Why hua? Because ma is uh, hua just right inside ma is hua already. Yes, correct. So you you match the pronoun with it's yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, we should add where we should add. Okay, we should add here. Okay, how to say that? Uh, when you see. Is a mausul for oh, so many f followed by a fragment, for example, like ma pisamawati wal arbi. Oh, so. Pisama wati wal arbi is jar wa majrur fragment. Oh, okay. Then actually. There is a hidden mutada. Mm -hmm. Hidden mutada. 
or what it called hidden yeah yeah arabic muqtada mahdhuf ya mahdhuf uh hidden uh, there is uh, in pronoun version that match in number and gender with the isomorphism Yeah. Okay. So, for example, here we have Mahua. Oh, sorry. Hua. Wow. Okay, another example. Aladina. What? Aladina who? Kinardina or? Sorry, Aladina. Aladina who? Ah, sorry, Aladina Min. Min, uh, Madina, di Madina ti. Um, actually, this is oh, what should we add the pronoun? Hua, huma, hum, anta, antum, antum. Aladina is home, right? Yes, aladi home. Min madinati. Okay. And that's enough because uh, an isim also always followed by a sentence. Okay, I think that's all. Put it here and then like this. Um, something make it ten and red. Okay. Then here and here, who and whom we make them bold okay. oh no ten minutes sorry bold and what should we add here blue okay mm. then here 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 Satisfied. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? No. And thank you for remind us about this. Okay. If all cover it now, it is time for us. To talk about most of Sipa.
Oh, okay. One more thing in A8. Just remember, it just popped up in my, in my head. A8 is an attached pronoun in English. The A8 is not translated. A8 should match a number and gender. Okay, yes. Uh, it can happen. I'm not sure with the word only, so can only happen in. Oh, what happened? No, it is frozen. <laughs> My old laptop. Okay. Meanwhile, what I want to say is that uh, it uh, can only happen in Isam Mosul, Wasilatul Mosul fragment, and Mosul Sifa fragment. It's only happen in these two fragments. It's a Mosul, eh? Mosul Sifa. Oh, Mosul Sifa. Yeah, Ustad once told that, but I cannot remember the explanation. Maybe we can find it later, inshallah. Okay. Oh, still not? Okay, you still mad at me? Then, most of uh, can have, you know, adjective, like two variation of adjective. It is word or sentence, right? Mm -hmm. Not really. What should I do? Yes, the not too long. Oh. Oh, no. Let's see what we have. It is not, we don't have not. Search. I don't know how to find it. Ah, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemons crazy, blue, nice, mm -hmm. new are the adjective, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And this is word, only one word, blue, mm -hmm. nice, new, blue, or we can have two words, a nice blue car, mm -hmm. or an expensive blue car. We have more than one word, but they are still words. This is not sentence, right? Mm -hmm. And that's uh, 
uh, easy enough, easy, pretty easy in Arabic too. Uh, we can say Muslim Salihun, good Muslim, right? And then what? Um, Fawzul Al Fawzul Azimun. That's mm -hmm. one word. So you only have to make it match in four properties, like in like we learn in the intensive. But now we can also make the adjective in a sentence. In this case, the most of came first. I bought last year. So this is Jumla Telia. Mm -hmm. This is sentence. So when you have adjective in sentence, you need to add that oh, okay. of which oh, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. Or the car that I bought or the car which I bought, yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. In Arabic, so most of still a uh, word. Mm -hmm. We have proper ism and common ism. When the most of is common. The next jumla, uh, jumla filia. I'm not sure with jumla ismia. Can be when the ism. So when the ism is common, the next fill is the cipher, right? The cipher. Yeah. What about Jumla Ismia? I don't think Jumla Ismia, no. I think only Jumla Fi'liya, yeah? Yeah. I'm so. mm -hmm. The next Jumla Fi'liya can be the Sifa when the Ism is common. Easy. What? The example. Do we have an example here? Uh, not in Arabic. Okay. Do we have another chat? I'm not sure. See if uh, uh, there is no. Okay. 